everybody. We've been looking at different areas in Arizona to use as our home base. Where are we going to go today? We're going to Prescott. Okay, Prescott it is. Prescott began as a mining town. It was founded in 1864. We took a drive through some of the neighborhoods and some of the newer part of Prescott. But the highlight of our trip through Prescott was our drive down Montezuma Street, also known as Whiskey Row. These saloons and many of the businesses completely burnt to the ground in 1900. Walking down Whiskey Row, downtown Prescott. A lot of cool little shops here. This is the old historic district of Prescott. This is the palace. Arizona's most historic restaurant and saloon. When the fire first started, the patrons at the Palace Saloon carried the bar across the street and continued serving drinks. And from what I read, that is the same bar that's in the Palace Saloon today. I've heard of these. I'd really like to go inside these underground tunnels of Whiskey Row, but uh, they're not really open to the public. This is blocked off, but this goes down underground in the old town part of Prescott. They were rumored to connect the brothels, gambling halls, saloons, and underground speakeasies that were very popular back in the day. After the fire, they needed a temporary jail, so they used one of the rooms that's in the tunnels underneath the Palace Saloon, and I read that that room is still down there today. Behind Whiskey Row was the Chinese and the brothel districts. It's estimated as many as 500 Chinese immigrants passed through Prescott between 1870 and 1930. The Earp brothers and Doc Holliday often visited Prescott. Supposedly, Doc Holliday won $10,000 playing poker here at the Palace Saloon in 1879. Doc Holliday's girlfriend, Big Nose Kate, lived here and is buried here in Prescott. For those of you who enjoy a good ghost story, this is a view of the Hasa Ampa Inn. I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. It's reportedly haunted by the ghost of Faith, who killed herself in the hotel. There's also reports of a six-year-old boy who tugs on women's shirts, and the night watchman who wears old Western clothing. Hotel St. Michael is famous for his haunted elevator. There have been several reports of guests seeing the spirit of a woman who apparently likes to ride the elevator. I think Whiskey Row is definitely the heart of Prescott. Across from Whiskey Row, you can see the old courthouse. Prescott has a lot of neat old history here that I've only just begun to uncover. We're still not sure where we're going to end up yet, but one thing for sure, there's a lot to love about Prescott. We're off to explore some more. See you guys soon. Safe travels. Bye.